So after that sort of SRI 1.0, we can get to um, what I would call security-specific analysis. And this is what Agnes was talking about. A lot of people try to find um, value in looking at individual securities through the lens of ESG. What risks do we have? Is, you know, people claim that they understood that BP was going to be dangerous because of the Texas City plant blow up prior to Deepwater Horizon, or um, that, that certain coal plants that, um, you know, coal was going to re-rate, or that whatever it is, Carillion um, MSCI had a watch list for a while. So that looking through the lens of ESG around specific securities can improve your security selection process. Other people, by the way, take a slightly different approach, which is I want things that are bad, much like a value stock versus a growth stock, right? I want things that are bad because if I think that they are improving in their ESG fundamentals, that will shortly be reflected in the marketplace and it's a leading indicator. And there are all sorts of rating services you can subscribe to and we'll get to the issue. I am sure the panel will talk about the issue of data and its assuredness, not assured, its comparability, et cetera. I will declare my interest. I'm actually on the advisory board of an artificial intelligence company looking at these things um, to try and jumpstart that whole thing.